Hello dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel, myself Dr. Madhine Shinvas. In this video, we are going to look at one very important theory question which is PUA therapy. So, for understanding PUA therapy, you should know what is meant by phototherapy. So, if we use the ultraviolet rays for the treatment of the skin condition, we call it as a combination, it is called as phototherapy. So, in the phototherapy, we have two types of ultraviolet rays, ultraviolet B rays and ultraviolet A rays. So, just remember, the ultraviolet B rays in the form of narrow band therapy where the wavelength is going to be in the range of 311 plus or minus 2 nanometers is most common type of phototherapy which we use for the treatment of various skin conditions. There is one more modality which is called as PUA therapy. So, in which UVA rays are used along with that we are going to use either a topical or a oral soralin. Soralin is basically a photosensitizer. photosensitizer so, this combination of the soralin and UVA, it is called as PUA therapy. Very important for you to remember. And the wavelength is from 320 to 400 nanometers. And what are the indications for this uh, PUA therapy? Remember, those uh, autoimmune conditions in which T cells are having important role, these are the conditions where this PUA therapy is used mainly. So, what are those conditions? Psoriasis, which we are going to discuss in detail in this uh, particular video vitiligo and also atopic dermatitis. So, what is the exact mechanism by which this soralin and UVA combination is going to cause the remission of the skin lesions in the psoriasis? Is basically in the psoriasis, you all know that the T cells are the responsible uh, immune cells which are going to produce this autoimmunity and also inflammation. So, whenever we give this soralin in the form of topical preparation as you are able to see methoxalin or in the form of tablets, okay, methoxalin is basically a soralin. Whenever we give this and after which if we give a sun exposure or the patient has to come to the OPD to get this treatment with the ultraviolet rays, specifically ultraviolet B or ultraviolet A rays. So, this is the phototherapy chamber into which the patient has to go inside and this is going to be a very big chamber inside which the patient has to step in and there will be tube lights all around uh, in this chamber and they are going to emit the UVB or UVA rays and the patient has to get naked and they have to cover their eyes and also the genitalia. So, that they are not affected because one very important adverse effect related to this ultraviolet therapy is going to be the cataract. Okay, related to the eyes. And what is the another thing is photo aging the skin. If it is going to get exposed to this UV uh, rays for a longer duration, long, uh, uh, then it, it is going to cause the photo aging. And one very important adverse effect which you need to remember is that there is a increased chances of the various skin cancers which these individuals might develop. So, because of all these, you must remember that PUA therapy, whenever we are giving PUA therapy, we always try to uh, along with the, this therapy give another form of treatment also it could it could be like topical treatment or it could be mostly systemic medications in the form of either methotrexate or acetretin or even biologics also okay this is going to be discussed in the uh, psoriasis video so please subscribe to my youtube channel and also do like this video so that i will understand that you are all interested in this kind of videos so coming back to this topic uh, so in the pua therapy what is the treatment modality? So, we are going to ask the patient to come in a week, at least two to three uh, times the patient has to come to the OPD for getting this treatment. If they want the treatment inside this phototherapy chamber, okay. But if they want to get it uh, uh, in the home, then we will just uh, prescribe the methoxalin lotion or the tablets. They will apply it after application of this lotion. After 30 minutes, the patient has to get exposed to the sun rays for some uh, one or two minutes okay duration is uh, dependent upon uh, patient to patient it might vary okay you, this has to be discussed with the treating dermatologist and oral formulation after the oral tablet two hours after this the patient has to get exposed to the ultraviolet rays so basically this is going to produce what is the destruction of this t cells so this combination we call it as a photo adduct Okay, this soralin is going to sensitize these T cells and it is going to cause the damage of this uh, T cells, thereby reducing the autoimmunity and also the inflammation. And also remember one more mechanism related to this phototherapy, it is going to increase the 
anti inflammatory cytokines interleukin 10 and interleukin 13 and also it is going to neutralize uh, here in it is going to neutralize the pro inflammatory cytokines so these are all the pro inflammatory cytokines and these are going to be neutralized by this anti inflammatory 10 and 13 interleukins okay and uh, this is all about the poa therapy so if you are having any more queries you can put your queries in the comment section if you write this much you are going to happily get the 6 marks or the 3 marks okay depending upon the number of marks you are going to trim whatever i have discussed in this particular video okay so if this video was helpful please do hit the like button and also do subscribe to my youtube channel and if you wish me to make a video on the topic that is psoriasis please do comment psoriasis in the comment section i will try to make a video so these are all the slides which are already ready so uh, along with this slides i am going to discuss briefly about the topic psoriasis and put a video in my youtube channel okay so thank you so much happy learning uh, all the de uh, dear students all the very best sarvam sri krishna from sarvejana sukina bond